and welcome folks to Higgy 2021, one year further away from 2020. So today, Jason, my trusty model here, is going to help me demonstrate how to do an Ayurvedic scalp massage. So what we'll have your um, model do, or if you don't have a model, you can just kind of do this on your on yourself. That you can do a self scalp massage. Just for our purposes today, I'm going to show you how to do it on somebody else. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make sure they're comfortable. Are you comfortable, Jason? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and choose an essential oil. So since we just uh, finished doing our um, blends for our scalp oils, um, you can use the blend that you just did. Uh, for us, I'm going to go with probably knowing Jason uh, frankincense. I think that'll be a good one. So we'll go ahead and get out our frankincense. And we'll just take a couple drops, or if you've got your blend, just take a, a couple drops. And we'll have him uncross everything. Okay. So just go ahead and rub the oil between your hands and place it over their face and then ask them to take three deep inhalations. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and press this in. Now to start, um, usually I write a script for these things just to have some sort of touch point to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But with Ayurvedic scalp massages, so much of it is intuitive. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through it and um, maybe just edit the heck out of this later. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and take your dropper or your bottle that you have with your blend that you made and we'll just go ahead and get a little bit in our palm. And we'll start to just go ahead and work around the perimeter of the scalp. Now, what you wanna try to remember is to go really slow. So just not like you're washing. We're just going to go really slow. And just work around the perimeter. And then we want to make sure to get underneath. And this is just kind of like a warm up. Once you work around the perimeter, you can then start to work more towards the middle. Again, just very slowly. All right, and then to start, we can go ahead and do some neck rolls right here. So all I'm doing is just like this, underneath. And we can work our way up. 
to the base of the neck, right under here where the scalp and the neck meet, there's this little divot you'll feel. Um, this in Ayurvedic terms is um, known as heaven's gate. So what you'll do, you'll just go ahead and cup where that little crook is at the base of the scalp and then just lift up and gently pull up very gently. So you're just giving a nice stretch and that's releasing a lot of built up tension that Jason has accumulated today. It's about 7.30 in the morning, so I'm sure knowing Jason, he's accumulated a lot of tension. Just right there. And you'll want to just hold this for, you know, 60 to 90 seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and move over to the ears. So the ears have a lot of nerve endings. And so if you can learn how to do a good ear massage, this will help you tremendously for yourself and for other people. So what we'll do, we'll start at the lobes and we're just gonna go ahead and gently massage. So I'm just kneading between my fingers like that. Just very gently. And again, be intuitive as to how much pressure you think. Everybody's a little different. And then when you get up to the top of the ear, just go ahead and like you're pinching and lift up a little. So you're just gonna massage, massage, just roll between your thumb and index. And then when you get to the top, just gently pinch and pull up. Then we're going to take our little fingers here like a scissor and we're going to put them on both sides. And with this middle finger, we're going to use a lot of pressure behind the ear. So that whole area behind here, lots of nerve endings. So we'll just go ahead and lift up go back down and lift up and lift up and then we'll do a little bit more massage around the edges again and pinch and pull up and then do our little scissors always do things in threes because it feels rhythmic and then the person feels like you've addressed the area. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and start with my favorite part of an Ayurvedic scalp massage. We're gonna take our oil and Take a hairbrush and we're just going to go here in the middle and work our way down and then here in the middle and work our way down the other side. So we'll just go ahead and put some oil right down that part and then we're going to, with our thumbs, just do some nice little rotating massages. Right on down. And then we'll go ahead and take our scalp oil and then we're going to make another part 
And then we're just gonna put the oil straight down and do the same thing. Just little circular motions. Again, be intuitive as far as what pressure you think they need. Everybody's a little different. And then we're going to do another part. He's got such luxurious hair. Okay. You take your oil and just go straight down with your little thumbs and doing this all the way down. And then continue down this way. And then when you're finished with that, we'll start on the other side. all the way down and then just kind of stop once you get to where the table doesn't make it easy to keep going and then we'll just keep moving in this direction And then just continuing down to, you get about right where the ear starts. Next, we're going to go ahead and do some hair brushing and hair pooling. This really helps to release a lot of tension. So we'll go ahead and just begin to brush. Again, very gently. And make sure that you get the scalp, that you're really just working with the scalp. And if they have tangles, the point's not to get everything out. It's just the sensation of a gentle tugging of those muscles on the scalp and the brushing. So just kind of let the hair fall out of the brush. Keep going around very rhythmically. And then we're going to start the top part and just kind of grab a little bit through your fingers and then just gently tug and work your way down. And then continue going outward. And outward. Alrighty. Then we're going to just start the process over start up here. Only this time we're going to use a lot more pressure. Now, not that it feels like they're heads in a vice, but now that we've, we've introduced the massage 
and we've gotten everything um, acclimated, we can go back and use more pressure. Just working around, gently massaging. And we'll go under and get to that heaven's gate part and lift up and just hold that position. for about 60 to 90 seconds. And we'll go back and work around. Now this time, when we go to do the, the scalp oil massage, we're gonna start with the middle, but we're gonna just do a different massage technique, little crisscrosses. We're going to go right down and we're going to use our thumbs and we're just going to crisscross. We'll just start here and then crisscross down like you're pushing in. So crisscross down and again not that you're washing the hair motion, but that you're massaging. So a nice, intentional, slower pace. Just crisscrossing all the way down. And then we'll go ahead and work this way. Add a little bit more oil. And again, try to work in threes because that makes it feel like you've given it attention. And then go, just like you did the first time, all the way down to where the ear stops. And then we'll start back in the middle and work all the way down this way. Then afterwards, now we're about done, you wanna just go ahead and do nice, big hand massages, as much territory of the scalp that you can get. Just nice big hand massages. And here you also want to make sure you're getting underneath too. This is our way of saying goodbye to the scalp for now. And then you can do your ear massages, just like we did, beginning with the earlobes and with our thumb and forefinger, just massage up and then pinch and pull up our scissors. and then we can do our neck rolls. And then just say goodbye. Thank you, Jason.